Hello team and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the format painter in Excel and how it can help you quickly clean up your spreadsheets. During today's video, I'll show you different ways the format painter can assist you. Let's take a look at some of the features. As you can see here, I have a spreadsheet with a ton of different formatting and I'd like to clean it up. What I can do is click a cell with the formatting that I like. In this case, I'll choose the first name for Tim. If you click the Format Painter option once, Excel will display the paintbrush icon next to your cursor. Then the next cell you click will apply the same formatting from the original cell. Notice also that the Format Painter is now deactivated because I just clicked it the one time. Let me click back in the original cell with the formatting I wanted. Now if I double click the Format Painter, it's gonna stay active until I turn it off. So I can click multiple cells to change the formatting I want at one time. I can also click and drag over various cells to have all of those formattings changed at once. One thing you do wanna be aware of when using the Format Painter is the formatting type of your original cell. Notice the formatting type for the first name of Tim was just general, meaning that if I click the Format Painter over higher date, it's gonna change it to a number that doesn't appear to make sense. So let me click Escape to exit out of the Format Painter. I'll click Control Z to undo that last action. And instead, to format the rest of these dates, I'm going to click the first cell within the date column. I'll double click Format Painter again and drag all the way down. And now all my dates are aligned the way I want them to be. I can now also shorten this column a bit. And let's use the Format Painter one more time to make all of the column headers formatted the same. So I'll click the first name column header, double click Format Painter and drag across. Now everything is aligned. Check it out team, in just a couple moments my entire spreadsheet has been formatted in a nice clean way. One of the more advanced ways you can use the Format Painter is to apply one row's formatting to an entirely different row. So for example, if I wanted to highlight all the rows for employees making a salary of 85,000, I could highlight the entire row. In this case, I'll choose this orange fill. Now with the entire row highlighted, I'll double click Format Painter again, and I can drag the cursor over the other rows with employees making the salaries I wanted to target. Notice that one of the benefits here is that because Excel is mirroring the entire row, the date format that I selected was not negatively impacted and neither was the salary. Both of those stayed in the formatting that I wanted, and that makes sense for that data type. One last feature I'd like to share with you. If you have multiple tabs with data set up the same way, you can actually copy the formatting from one tab to an entirely separate tab. What you would have to do is highlight all of your data. A simpler way to do this would be clicking Control A on the keyboard. You can then double click Format Painter. Then go to the new tab that you'd like to format. As you can see, we have a bunch of different formatting here as well, including dates and salary, which is formatted as currency. But watch, if I click and drag the Format Painter over all of this data at once, it's all formatted the exact same way as it was in the source spreadsheet. Just be aware that if I were to continue dragging down further, the Format Painter would repeat based on the number of rows. To show you what I mean, let me click and drag a little bit further down. You'll see that employee information row and the column headers, the formatting for both of those was repeated because the Format Painter counted the number of rows from the source spreadsheet. Team, I hope you found these tips helpful today. Please like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed these tips. Leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.